Uh, hey guys, doing a vlog. I know the car engineer has because where the sun's at. Uh, we are currently sitting in the wife's new vehicle. It is a 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, the Pontiac with the Mustang tires. <laughs> that still does me in. And the Focus, they're both at the house. However, uh, Pontiac needs a new water pump, Focus needs a new battery. I'm gonna, the pump's ordered, it'll be here Monday. 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 So I'll be, me and a friend and some beer. Yes, beer, mm. And we'll put the pump in. Um, I've actually already sold, resold the, uh, <laughs> resold the, 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 the Pontiac Bonneville. There's the baby. And there's our baby, the gold. Explore uh, ex expedition. expedition. She's already. Uh, um, she's getting work done. Yeah, she's getting her drive shaft replaced. So we're gonna have the we're gonna have two battle wagons. We're gonna have this battle wagon and her, our rip our original battle wagon, uh, which has made the wife extremely happy. Um, God dang son. Oh, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And of course, we have the dot dot. And Montgomery, mm, love you, Monty. Um, uh, they're both uh, uh, American Bulldog pit bull crosses. Uh, absolutely loving their brother and sister. Dottie goes everywhere with yeah, me. Yeah, Dottie goes everywhere with the wife. Dottie is my wife's emotional support animal. Uh, so wherever the wife goes, Dottie goes. And yes, she does have a vest uh, and everything else. Uh, believe it or not, she doesn't like the vest on. It makes she it. it she starts itching and scratching and, and, and biting at it. Biting and yeah, so we've got a special tag to go around her neck instead. Um, that does say please do not pet me, stuff like that, you know, I'm I'm someone's emotional support pet. Things like that. Um now me personally, I'm this is technically the first ever Jeep I've owned. Um well I wouldn't say owned, I would say driven in, worked on everything else. The exhaust is quite literally right behind me. Uh, the guy who owned it wanted to turn it into the little rock crawler project sort of thing and realized how fucking expensive that actually is and then realized nope ain't gonna do that so yeah too many projects so I just decided to sell it. And so yeah Check engine light don't come on. She's not idling high. Oil pressure stable. Engines are in sound condition. You know, no chirping, no vibrations, no nothing. And we're doing 60 miles an hour, which is highway speed. 65. 65. Correction. Thank you, Baroness. Uh, and we're fine. We're off on our way to Grubbox, which is a awesome, awesome, awesome family-owned restaurant. Uh, they're only open for a short limited time of the year because you know the family also own their own farm stuff like that and whatnot but it's a beautiful restaurant guys if you ever 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 in southern utah you have to go to grub box in ferron okay you have to you have to we're at 70 and cruise control's on yeah 70 cruise controls on vehicle doesn't look like it's pulling left or right or anything else no, a little bit of play in the steering Oh, well, we, we can fix that. I, I can fix it, or Clayton can. I know it used to have a column shifter at one point. But then again, it's, it's Jeep. That steering wheel is probably in like seven different models. So, yeah. I need to get my. Uh huh. You're used to the Focus steering. I am. Um... <laughs> She's used to the double wishbone suspension design of the Focus. <laughs> they can handle the corners at speed. <laughs> this Jeep guard, it's all wheel drive. So, you know. No, it is four wheel. Oh, it is four wheel? Right, uh, the, nice, nice. I thought it was an all wheel drive, but it's not four. It is four. No? It is four. I know, so, because we do get a lot of snow out here, guys. It hears, uh, is it in here? Or is it in there that I put the paperwork? It's in here. And then down there's an ashtray down below in front by my wallet. Uh huh. So, slowly getting everything in this with a That is the old power plant I used to be a security guard at, guys. Yeah, that's the old power plant I used to be a security guard at. I'll give you my hat, but 
I know. Tell you what, we could stop at Gillies and see if they got sunglasses. I cheap. probably will put them in here. Uh -huh. I'll have a set in here, a set in the expedition. Yep, and a set in whatever else. Like that excursion. Yeah, um, talk to the kid. Okay. I told him that I couldn't get up there until Monday-ish. Yeah. And he says, that's fine. It's just sitting there waiting for me. Uh, 7.50. And it's ours. He took it in. The check engine light is a sensor. It's a O2 sensor that's right in the top of the engine. Oh, that's easy. They said it was probably about a $30 pop-in. I, I was just going to say, if it's the correct position sensor, fuck you. <laughs> no, it's, it's an error. <laughs> Yeah, O2 sensor. Yeah. Yeah. But it's right at the top of the engine. On the tippy top? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Uh, but like I said, guys, now if you're a gearhead, you'll know what I mean by please not the cr uh, not the crank's position sensor because that is a pain in the ass to get to, especially on Fords. And um, they check the wheel out. Uh -huh. It is not a wheel bearing uh -huh. or a tie rod or anything like that. They said what it is is the ball joints do need to be replaced eventually within the next couple hundred miles. So replace them when we get it home, get them home. Yeah. All right. So basically I take it to Clayton and say replace these. Cool. And other than that it is in absolute perfect condition. Well he did say the interior is a bit wrecked. Uh, the interior is a little wrecked but nothing that can't be hit underneath the car seats. We hold dogs. That's what I told him. On leather seats. That's so we don't give a fuck about interior. That's what I told him. I said, I have dogs and they're on leather seats, so. Yeah. And he says, well, these are co these are these are cloth seats. And I said, yeah, I don't care about that. I would rather cloth anyway. Yeah, easy to clean. But like I said, guys, uh, the wife want, has always wanted an excursion to add to her collection. My, you gotta understand, Baroness loves trucks. Absolutely loves trucks. Trucks are her thing. I like classic trucks, like 50s, 60s, uh, 40s, 50s, and 60s trucks. I don't like modern trucks. I just don't. They just look cookie cut, you know? You can't customize them. You can't do. You know, a lot of people would call this a truck. This isn't it's an SUV. This is a mini baby. This yeah. is a mini baby. It's a, it's a rock crawler. I, I like my big ones. <laughs> This, this is something I would take out to like the duck pond. They were teasing me up at Grants today. Oh yeah? I was standing there and I was talking to the owner. Uh -huh. and he's like, I am so sorry. I forgot to come and get your truck the other day. He says, I got home and looked at my notes and I went, oh, hell, I was supposed to go pick up that gold expedition. And I says, uh-huh. And he was teasing me. He says, so what is this thing that you're bringing to me now? And I says, well, I'm disabled, and I've got to have a running vehicle. I have doctor's appointments throughout the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I the specialist on Monday at. that we have to get you yeah. to see, yeah. That I have to be at, and without a running vehicle, I can't do that. And my only running vehicle now is sitting out there. Uh -huh. And he's like, well, what happened to your focus? And I told him, he says, it's battery, but yeah. you might as well go ahead and replace the alternator, too. He says, but yeah, it's just a battery. And he says, what the hell is this mini thing that you've got? And I says, what do you mean? And he says, I thought you were a truck girl. And I says, I am. And I says, don't <laughs> fuck with me. I says, God damn it, I don't know if I like this thing or not, but it runs, it's good. That's all that I care about. Uh-huh. He was just teasing me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you need to jack it up and lighten it a little bit. Yeah. Lengthen it a little bit and you'd be good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, at that point, that's when you just make it a Ram 1500, you know? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, trust me, if I get a good hold of a truck. I showed you a Ram for 1500, uh, for under a thousand. They wouldn't deliver it. I, I, I know, but I'm just I showed you. I know. But and they... you'll have the battle wagon, we just need to get a flatbed trailer. Yeah. And a winch, and then that way you'll get whatever you want at that point. Um, I did talk to Grants. Uh -huh. That excursion, uh -huh. as long as it's a bumper pull, we'll pull anything we put behind it. But it's two-wheel drive. And That's it's what not I told diesel. him. And he says it doesn't matter that it's two-wheel drive. The only time that it matters if it's four-wheel drive is if you plan on going someplace that you're going to get stuck. Not careful, road gators. He says, do you plan on going up into the mountains and getting the damn thing stuck? No. And I said, no. And he says, then it don't fucking matter. <laughs> All right, fair enough. 
So the wife's getting an ex she's got her expedition, she's getting an excursion, okay? And and she's now got this little mini battle wagon. I got a funny feeling I'm gonna end up with this once I get my driver's license. It's a nice little vehicle, it really is. Uh -huh. And then knowing me, I'm gonna see the Freiburg is down in Moab and drive this down there and and it'll be like, hey, Freiburger, yeah. You know? Finnegan. One thing is driving me fucking crazy because I see it out the Peripherals of my vision is that fucking screen down there. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it and see if I can't fucking fix it. Is that? Whatever it is. I don't know what it is. I don't either. But the flashing's driving me fucking batty. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Ford hat covers a Dodge problem. Uh, but anyway guys, oh, fire, probably okay. control burn, but anyway guys, um, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, she's a little loose on the steering, so I have to be, I'm used to the Expedition steering, which is very responsive, and then the little car's steering was more than responsive, responsive. and this is just kind of a, oh, I'll do it in a minute. 45 here. Yeah, it's control burn. I'll do it when I'm ready. Right, well, anyway, guys, um, the I've already sold the red car that you just saw in a recent vlog. That's gone. Oh, nice 60s Mustang. Um, I told Sherry if she does the work on the car, I will work with her on her buying it. The Focus? Yeah. $1,000 plus she gets the work done herself. I was gonna use that to flip, but okay, cool. I told you flip the goddamn bread car. I have, I'm just waiting on the money. Besides, I wanted to go buy that car from Dennis. I wanted my Omega. Welcome to your Omega. But this is not an Omega. This is a Jeep. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you later. Uh, see you on the vlog on the way back home. All right guys, take care. We are back from Grubbox. I know it's gotten dark. It gets dark real quick out here. Uh, so yeah, welcome to Utah. It gets sunny early at like 4 a.m. and it gets dark early at, at freaking what, five, six, seven? About that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's really hot out here. It, 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 the sunlight betrays the time, you know, which is what a lot of people say. And of course, that's the power plant that I used to be a security guard at. Yeah, I know. Oh, come on, dude. Speed up. You know, find your pedal. Fucking go. Ugh, people, man. People. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's uh, one... One of those old things, nice little truck, SUV, whatever you want to call it. Really, dude, you're on the highway. <laughs> Fucking speed up. Okay, Mr. Regalot. This is why I can't have no. Just, ooh, goddamn Nick, mm, you almost made me swear. I didn't, I didn't swear, I didn't swear. Um. Wow, really, Grandpa? Do you think you could find the gear? You're in a fucking Grand Marquee. It's got a V8. It's got oomph. Go! Oomph, oomph. You know, like oompa loompa. Oompa loompa. Get fucking going. God damn. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm getting ready to do a small War Thunder stream here. Just because... Um, So jelly of that ice cream cone right now. That is seriously getting some more action right there. Mm. I want to get those beautiful cherry lips right here on the cheek. Yeah, right here. Because I'm driving. I know, I say she's driving. See, you pervs, you pervs. I'm talking about a kiss. And of course, the puppies are laying down. They got full bellies. 
Mama bought him an ice cream cone, so they're actually quite happy right now. <laughs> Dottie got her first brain freeze. She, she wolfed on the ice cream, she big, big old chunk of it, and she was like, ah, ah, ah. You could see in her, it's like, ah, brain freeze, you know, ah. Poor Pope, I love her, I do love her. So she, she's, she, she's proper sulking right now, because she got brain freeze. But uh, yeah, we're about to roll into town. In fact, there's the sign. Welcome to Castledale. Hello. We're back in town. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, I will uh, get ready to upload this video tomorrow, because tomorrow's Sunday, uh, and you guys seem to be enjoying the vlogs. So uh, there we go, I will do that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all, uh, later on tonight, well, technically yesterday, slash tomorrow, which is weird, this whole time thing is, <sighs> Dr. Tardis, please help, alright, till then guys, I'll talk to you in a bit, bye, daddy, no, come, house, she's going in now, mummy, there you go, hey guys, update on the cars, uh, Focus has a bad alternator and a bad battery, we already knew that, we just got it confirmed by my buddy Jamie, thank you Jamie, much calmer and love to you brother, so the Focus, yes, it does have a U-Haul bumper pull on it, don't ask, it was already on the car when we bought it, um, body is in actually good condition for its year, does have a small love tap here, if I can pull that, pull that dent out with my suction cups um other than that that's really it we've got a little bit of light rust here on the doors but when you expect this is utah the salt and everything else so rust wise that's actually pretty impressive uh this is the new vehicle that we do have it is a jeep J grand cherokee um plate net plate's gonna change so don't worry about that guys it is a, it is a v8 beautiful all-wheel drive four by four see grand cherokee laredo leather interior and everything else paint's kind of crappy so you know what do you expect for a car this year but she runs she drives she's a battle wagon grand am grim you're gonna want to watch this video um my buddy jamie volunteer firefighter much respect to him huge absolutely huge absolutely huge chevy guy his own whole family is chevy he knows the ins and outs of this car this engine and everything before i did yes that is fluid he did show me exactly what is wrong Long story short, thermostat housing, thermostat's bad and one hose. So thank God damn God, he even showed me how to take it off the thermostat. So that's going to be new thermostat, new hose. She'll be on the road again, already on the road again. Thanks, Jane. Focus needs a new alternator, a new battery. Unfortunately, I can't put the alternator in because I'm going to need an engine puller. Reason being is Ford in their infinite wisdom literally took the alternator and located it about there quite literally but down so if i want to get to the alternator i've got to pop the hood okay which i'm not going to do right now i've got to there's my sunglasses i wonder what happened to those i've got to pop the hood which is one thing um i've got to pop the hood and then I gotta start dismantling the engine cover, which covers the timing chain and sorry, the belt, everything else. Take the pulleys off, take the belt off, take the engine mount bolt, and there's an engine mount bolt about here area. Take that bolt out, jack the engine up, slide the engine forward to get to the bolts on the alternator. And I just cannot be asked to do that. So that is gonna go into my buddy's shop over at Grant's Automotive. Uh, they're probably going to charge me about 200 bucks plus just in labor. It's going to be about 180 for the alternator and about 100 for the battery because it's a, it's a proprietary battery that Ford put in the Focus. Yay, nice one Ford. I just said why don't we just change out the battery fucking terminals but apparently the battery has a smart charge system thing in it which is part of the fucking ZTS. Yeah, if that, it, now, now ironic thing is if this was a Ford Focus uh, SE or, or whatever anything but the ZTS Okay, anything but the fucking ZTS We would have been good that would have worked changing out the battery terminals and just putting a regular freaking battery in it But no, but because it's a ZTS 2 litre freaking uh, uh, Dahonic uh, 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 Engine it has to have this proprietary smart charge battery that goes with the alternator So I'm like so 
Your ideas was so when one part goes bad, you have to replace two parts. Fuck you engineers, okay? Seriously, just fuck you engineers. So long story short, that's gonna be about a hundred bucks, the Pontiac. It's gonna be about a hundred bucks thrown into it, parts, labor, whatever. She'll be up on the road again, okay? This is already up and running and, and, and he's driving strong and, and has literally like bugger all issues and we love it. We love it, we love it, we love it. Uh, we drove it all the way to Ferron and back um, in the last vlog that you guys saw. Uh, the Focus, unfortunately, uh, we're either going to sell it, flip it. I might even trade it for an AR once I get the alternator and battery fixed in it. It's it, Keddy Blue Book's out at $1,900, guys. I think right now, even with the bad alternator and battery, Kelly Blue Book's for, uh, for 15 you know? And so I'm like, oh, man, almost two grand for that car. And we paid 1500 for it at the door six months ago. Uh, and, but the check engine light um, on the Pontiac is on and my buddy's got one of the code readers so he's going to read the code that's on the Pontiac but he thinks it's most likely probably uh, 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 O2 sensor or something like that one of the sensors is, is acting up or needs cleaning or whatnot. the uh, Cherokee uh, 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 that doesn't have a check engine light on that that literally that's 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 100 percent running reliable and everything else and i i find it ironic but there's actually a sticker okay on on the jeep that i think is absolutely hilarious ready <laughs> warning do not screw with my jeep serious injury or death can occur <laughs> that literally sums up the baroness do not fuck with her cars. Long story short, Focus is either going to get flipped, sold, sold, or traded. Um, Grand Am uh, is already sold to Grim. Uh, Grim, there it is, buddy. We found out what exactly is mechanically wrong with it. My buddy Jamie did check out the the starter, the alternator, and everything else, and they're all fine, 100% and whatnot. It's just the thermostat and one fucking hose so once the thermostat and that one fucking hose gets replaced fuel you know we'll reprime the, the fueling system and whatnot um now he's gonna have jamie's gonna have to show me how to do that because i hate doing fueling uh, cooling systems i redid the cooling system in the focus uh, um when we blew a radiator hose on that and um yeah God, I just, oh, just, I hate calling systems. So he's going to show me how to do that. Um, so that's an update on the cars, guys. Uh, so yeah, pretty much. Uh, update on what's going on with me. Uh, I'm good. Uh, as far as I know, I've got my health. And if I don't, I don't want to know. Um, yes, life of ignorance, as they say. Uh, but last night, this, my old camp, camper that I used to go uh, hunting with, uh, my buddy Jamie's getting it. We're giving it to him as well as saying thank you for uh, um, helping us with the uh, uh, the vehicles and whatnot. So he's getting my old single camper trailer. I've actually got to move some of this debris out of the way because he'll be on his way back here in about an hour or so with his blazer to pull this away. Uh, his blazer, of course, does have an... Is heavily modified it's not a stock blazer so and that is a uh, aristocrat land commander uh, i used to use this uh for uh, hunting and whatnot when i when and i know the tires are dry rotted so he's gonna have to deal with those and replace them etc etc uh let me just move this is my old target board when i used to practice bow shooting Set that sucker up at 100 meters and just plop all day long. So I'm just moving it out of the way. There we go. So it's in essence just a straight shoot to it for him. Uh, yes, I have been moving dead tree limbs. That tree over there is gone. Uh, this tree here will be going soon. Those trees will be going these two trees will be going this tree i'm actually debating about keeping it's not harming the house or anything but i'm thinking about keeping it up to about here which means top off the tree is going to go this is all going to stay and i'm actually going to carve something into the tree for 
the Baroness. And yes, I do actually do wood carving, guys. I've got many skills under my belt, you know. As they say, jack of all trades, but a master of none. And so I was thinking about carving a horse. You know, a horse look over its shoulder and stuff for her. Because the wife is a huge fan of horses. She used to breed them, uh, race them, um, barrel racing, stuff like that and whatnot. She was in the PRCA, that's Pro Rodeo Circuit, sponsored by Dodge and Logan Coach and a whole bunch of other guys. She was really big. She's got a bit of a reputation and, and whatnot. I've been pruning this bugger. Uh, these are my overhead, these are my fiber optic lines, guys. Okay, those are my fiber optic lines. Yes, that is a double line there, double line there, single line there. And it's five lines. I have five, 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 uh, 500 by 500 connections. connections. Uh, <laughs> here's my buddy Jamie with his blazer. <laughs> I knew it. And of course, there's the old junk metal that I'm going to be shooting the crap out of with my new Remington 556 that uh, I just ordered. That's a nice old blazer. Nice old blazer. He, yeah, he's got a ball joint on it, so that's good. So yeah, there you go, guys. A uh, little update to a vlog for you. Hope you enjoy. Till then, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, guys. Just doing a quick vlog. Batteries at full charge. Um, I know you guys have probably been watching the update vlogs and whatnot, and uh, thank you for that. But if you haven't, uh, things wrong with a Pontiac Grand Am thermostat and a hose, and she's sorted. Things that are wrong with the focus, alternator, and battery. And that's it. That's it. Just two, two simple things each car. Oh, it's cold. Well, yeah. I mean, it's It's cold. Of course it's bloody cold. It's Utah. It's always bloody cold. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> the wife's baby battle wagon. <laughs> anyway, guys, here we are. We are inside the baby battle wagon. Yes. So you guys get to know it is a Jeep. Let's zoom out. It is a Jeep. That's the back windows. Yeah, his wife's playing with buttons. Oh God, we're gonna hit warp factor five. She's trying to figure out the wipers. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Mini round of applause. Ow! Seatbelt. Shut off! Did, maybe they don't want to. It could be worse. It could be those futuristic ones that automatically kick in when it rains. Do you know those break all the time in car washes? Because mm -hmm. the, the, the blades are going and the, the brush usually smashes them. Uh, 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 camera! <laughs> Lucky I caught that. <laughs> Fucking focus is going nuts. You might want to slow it down there, Leadfoot. Why? Why? Because I don't want to get wrapped around a bloody tree pole. I'm not going to get wrapped around a bloody tree pole. She drives like... It's NASCAR. I can if you want. No, no, no. Remember your old shit handle. I know my old shit handle don't work. God damn you, Leadfoot. Anyway, guys, I'll see, see nothing. when we get to Price. I'm worse than the expedition. Hey, guys, we're in Price. Uh, we're at our local Burger King. This is probably the only time you're ever going to see me at a fast food restaurant, mostly because I'm getting a nice coffee for myself because I haven't been to bed yet. My buddy Otto is here with his Oldsmobile Alero. Uh, yeah, it's redneck, it's ghetto, but you know what? It gets them around, that's all that matters. What's up? Oh, my I'm upset. Just, yeah, I'm doing a vlog, a vlog here. And so, yeah, there's the, the Grand Cherokee. We just got back from the dentists. Baroness has gotten some good news, some bad news, some great news, and some sad news. Uh, I won't talk about it unless, you know, she gives me the go-ahead, but needless to say, uh, it's gonna be a very tight few months financially for us here soon, guys. Baroness has to lose her teeth. Yes, Baroness has to have some teeth pulled. And, um, 
our insurance won't cover all of it. So, and what our insurance doesn't cover is pretty costly. Uh, we're looking at just shy of $3,000 out of pocket expense that the insurance company just won't cover. Uh, so that's like x-rays, things like that, technicians. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work, guys. Hey, if you can't find it, grind it, huh, bro? Go on the ATV, literally just down there, destroy this transmission. You sure you got enough mellow yellow in there, mate? Right Yeah. I love mellow Let's yellows. Take one for you and the missus. Fuck a duck. Dude, did you rub a store or something? Hey, free mellow yellows. Son of a bitch! What the fuck, bruh? I know, I got contacts. Who? Mellow yellow himself? It's okay, I like mellow yellows. <laughs> they call me mellow yellow. Of course the doors are locked. That damn auto lock system. Well, anyway, um, boom and kapow. Uh, like I said, guys, so we're going to get some breakfast here. Uh, I'm going to get me a nice coffee, uh, try and keep me awake. And, uh, yeah, we'll be a League of Legends stream today, guys. And I know League of Legends isn't everyone's cup of tea, but you know what? It's a laid-back, chilled game where I don't have to overly concentrate. I know, which kind of sounds weird because I, there are streamers that stream League of Legends that are like, hoo, 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 like fucking meth addicts. But me, I find League of Legends calming, if anything. Anyway, I'm going to sit down, have a nice uh, breakfast with my family, which is my, my brother from another mother, Otto. And like I said, my lucky like is he's my brother from another mother. Uh, uh, yes, I did get the demon ring fixed, guys. So, like I said, anyway. Uh, Carbonation. I will see you all later today. Take it easy. Peace.